It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC South. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, it's an intra-division matchup in the AFC South, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Houston Texans. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted. They expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Leading them out, a two-year starter at Ohio State, and second overall pick in the draft, C.J. Stroud. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Opening play, and Stroud will throw it. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Now a throw here, hold in. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This second and four. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Consecutive runs of six yards gives him a first and ten. Couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Roger McCreary there to bring him down defensively. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. 
And nothing but daylight ahead. And they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Nick Folk for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Stroud off the play fake. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. From the 21, it's second and 10. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. That's complete to Dell. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Stroud to throw it. That's complete. It's Collins. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Stroud now on second down. That's complete to the tight end, Saubert. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 43. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that second down well that's just a pile of bodies there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that feeling like okay i can stand up when the going gets tough in here stroud sets up the play action and incomplete on the deep ball on every offensive coordinator every play caller sheet they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Stroud on third down now. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 15-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. But well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Delson in motion. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Second down and eight. And they'll send the slot in motion left. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's brought down. A nice little juke move that preceded it, but not much thereafter. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Texans. Dalton Schultz from six yards away. And the Texans' decision to go for it pays off with six points. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that. They got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it was the tight end Dalton Schultz on the touchdown reception to cap the drive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. Now leading him out, a motivated rookie out of Kentucky fell to the early portion of the second round of the drafts. It's Will Levis. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Levis now on first and ten. Gets this to the former Texan, DeAndre Hopkins. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Off the play fake, Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. 
They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 42-yard line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Levis. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Levis on third down. And he is caught. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. From the two now, second and goal. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Will Levis scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Titans have taken the lead. Ah, that's a great alternative there to the old-fashioned quarterback sneak. Instead, let your quarterback take it in the shotgun and essentially choose his own path. He scans the situation, makes the right read, and takes it into the end zone on the QB draw. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 14 to seven. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the drive was capped off with a touchdown run by Will Levis. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now out comes Houston. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one, but occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off, but on that play, it had no chance. 
Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football as they've got it second down and 11. And Stroud now to throw. He'll drop this one down to mix it. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. Stroud looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Stroud to the air on first and 10. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules, and that time the hit came just a little bit too late. And an official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Nico Collins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Now Stroud. That is caught by Dell. Touchdown, Houston. Take Dell. 43 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Levis to throw it. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And 22 more yards there and another first down. 
Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Pollard going to try the right side. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well. Because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Back to throw, it's Levis. Oh, and that is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. Desmond King deep for Houston. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Second and ten. Here's Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The Texans on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Stroud. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Taken from just outside the 30. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. Going to run again here with Pollard. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, 
You're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Levis out of the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there, hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Here we go, fourth down, Levis. Pass taken in by Phillips. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. So they get the conversion on fourth, and now from the 25, they operate with a first and 10. Levis looking to throw. And this one is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 a give to Pollard running left who with a juke and he is out of bounds but first he gets it inside the 10 to the seven 62 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. First down, and it's Pollard again. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Third and goal, here's Levis. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, 
he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run for it with Pollard. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Tony Pollard punching it in from a yard away. And the Titans are going to take the lead. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Houston set to take over. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Stroud to throw it. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Got his man, Dell. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A shotgun snap to Stroud. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. Found good room to run there. Returns it 14 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. On first down, Levis. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 
The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. That's complete downfield to Okonkwo. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll throw it again with Levis. And it's a Titans touchdown. Calvin Ridley as the first half is winding down. And the Titans will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead now up to 14. So that drive, four plays. And it's Calvin Ridley who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. 
Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. Second half begins with a run by Pollard. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Pollard again. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. 70 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now Levis. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play, second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and nine. Pollard will take it up the gut. Not much room to run. Just gets it to the 35 after showcasing his tough running. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Levis sets up to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 46. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? They go back to Pollard on second down. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Pollard. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. On second down, it's Pollard. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Texans' offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far... Not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. It's Mixon on the counter. Oh, good move. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 41 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Mixon with a first down carry. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, 
and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's Stroud. Quick slam to Brown. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Thanks for tagging along with us here from Houston, Texas. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans' 40-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up, and he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Once again, they run with Mixon, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. He'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 21, here's second down and seven. Play action. Stroud now. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. And this offense on third down today, they've hit at 50%. Three of... This is third and seven. Inside handoff to Mixon. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 76 yards rushing here from Mixon. He's got a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Back to Mixon on first down. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 
And that's a gain of six on the first down run. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Second down and four. Stroud looking to throw. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. C.J. Stroud taking it in from four yards out. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, C.D., but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept him out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on him. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And you'd have to figure, he got the ball quite a bit last drive, you see the numbers, that now they're looking to choose some clock. He's going to get it even more here. I would think so, because they have momentum going in their direction. They moved the ball that way on their last drive, and you know they're trying to lock this game down. But also, don't be surprised if they mix in a few passes along the way as well, so they can't just totally key on him on this drive. Interesting. We'll see if that happens. Either way, looking to hold this lead let's see if they can do it so just three yards on the completion there at its second down Levis to throw it a short throw. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter. And that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. But bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. Pollard going to try the right side. Breaks through the contact. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. Touchdown, Titans. Tony Pollard, 47 yards. And the Titans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. On for the extra point is Folk. And the lead is up to 18 now. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And the Texans set to come onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Stroud out of the gun here. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. That one, a first down pickup of eight. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And Stroud now to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Mixing up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. The second down throw now from Stroud. And this will be caught by Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. Now Stroud. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down on a big play there. A gain of 14 on what was a fourth and 10. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss. and a Touchdown! Joe Mixon, 27 yards, and the Texans get a bit closer. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions <laughs> like that? What a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. 
Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Levis now on first and 10. And he's taken down inside the 30. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. I met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. To the 27-yard line. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. That is caught. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. one more time and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line a lot of tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal here's Levis and it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. DeAndre Hopkins, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans have made it a three-score game now here in the fourth. 
Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving at a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And now out comes Houston. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because... One team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. On second down, it's Stroud. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. I think this is what this game's become now. Just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Again, it's Drown. That is caught by Dell. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 34-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Stroud sets up the play action. Now he'll escape to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. The throwing again is Stroud. And that's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. 
They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Levis takes a knee here, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory, and maybe more importantly, a victory in the division, which always helps. And on the road. How about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Most yeah, they time thumped in, them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up. On the road, big margin, big victory. Oh, yeah, that flight home will be good. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long from Houston.